sometimes I'm afraid I could never change. Okay, so I'm Aline Guerra. I'm a, mainly a printmaker, a black and white traditional block printmaking. Um, you would say kind of like traditional Mexican printmaking style. I don't know, I think that um, being part of this, what could be seen as a movement of uh, bringing more visibility to our communities, positive visibility rather than all the negative presence that we have in the news, I think that just making sure that people who drive by this neighborhood know who the people who live in here and work here are, and yeah, that seems pretty exciting to me. I, the, so, for a mural would be the history of the place, the, the neighborhood. Uh, also, what we have been doing, which is asking people about what they think of their neighborhood, what, what are their hopes and, I don't know, their experiences living in here. So that would be research, historical research, community research, and then sketching, just putting all of the ideas in sketches, lots of sketches until you get to like, how you tell the story and then how you depict it like how in, in ways that are for a mural would be uh, something that is visible, understandable, not too complex, not too deep and yeah colors and uh, choosing what's going to be the, the palette of your design yeah and then actually painting it right yeah so in this case it's a lot easier because they're going to give us a white wall which and everything that we need and that's that's super nice we don't uh, always get that kind of uh, treatment well it's part of the research process you don't want to come uh, to a place and just impose your idea or your vision of the place it's very important to talk to the people who are going to be um, interacting with it for it's, you're leaving it here for them to see every day, so it's going to change. It's going to be part of, I don't know, the history of that town. Oh, and they are important just for um, inspiration. I mean, just sitting there, I've been taking notes, and there are things that I didn't know about this neighborhood. And it's also, what I know about this neighborhood is from my own perspective. There are many perspectives that I don't know, you know, the like people who actually were born here and grew up and how they have seen change in the neighborhood. I have lived in this neighborhood for 20 years. Uh, and still my perspective is different from another person who has lived here as many years. So I think it's very important. I really like them. Also being in a room with a lot of people who have the same background or the same struggle and without having to, I don't know, think of, oh, we cannot say that in this room, right? We get to say everything. And that's very empowering, liberating. I think this is a good, a good way having listening or just community um, gatherings, I don't know, food, having barbecues, gatherings, like, of course, I mean, you said besides art, but music, creating more community spaces. There's so many uh, open areas um, that could be turned into green areas for people to just hang out. Also, this place could benefit from more trees, you know, it, it's sad that um, it, it only starts looking better when you know that investment is coming but when we've been here it's been sitting with potholes and everything so long said to me a few minutes ago he said at your highest moment be careful that's when the devil comes for you